episode of Zoology Adventures. I've been training to be a zoologist for seven years. Most of my heroes are zoologists. So that's Steve Batchel, Nigel Marvin and David Attenborough. Now I'm going to introduce you to my sister, Alara. Hello. Today, I, I'm taking you deep down into my pond. The newt that we're going to be looking for is the smallest one in the UK. Now I'm going to try and find a newt with Alara. So, if there is one down here, hopefully no, we'll get to see one. So, we've caught him! Yes, we got him. Mr. Newty. So, this is a newt. So, we found him in the pond. This is a common newt, like I said, or paymate newt. These newts are very common. They're the most common newts in the UK. So, this is him. He's a male because of the underside of his belly. This newt breathes through its mouth. All Lots of other amphibians may breathe through gills or their body. A newt is a very interesting creature because it's amphibious. An amphibian is something that can breathe in water, out of water or through its body. This little newt here breathes through his mouth. So like humans, he has lungs. It eats tadpoles, pond skaters and also other small critters. A newt will spend most of the time outside of the water and also some of the time inside. It will come out of the water for eight months of the year. On land, they eat slugs, worms and, also, and beetles and sometimes ants. So I've just given him a bit of shelter here so he doesn't burn in the sun. Okay, there's a lot more shelter there. That's enough of lava. I am known in the family the newt hunter because once I caught 23 newts in my nana's whole pond. If you are lucky enough to have a pond, you'll be even more luckier to have a newt in it. Now we're going to put him back. He's trying to get through my hand. No, I'll let him, which is not ideal. <laughs> okay, he's back in the pond. Like Steve Batchel said, if you're not lucky enough to have your own pond, you could get a bowl, dig it up in the ground, and then, if you are really lucky, you could get some soil, you could get also get some gravel to put around, put some stones inside, fill it up with water and put some plants in. Even if it's quite small, that could attract things like frogs, newts, and all other things. Thanks for watching and see you next time for Zaxa Wallage Adventures where I'll be searching for spiders. Bye bye.